Hi, I'm Carlos. I'm Leticia. I'm Amara. I'm Brian. And I'm Josh. And we're trying to implement water culture in northeastern Brazil. The northeastern region of Brazil is very arid and dry, which means it has a low quantity and quality of water. Because of this, implementing a water culture in this region will tremendously improve the standard of living for the people there. Brazil is the country that has the most available uh, fresh water available. So, but however, this water is not located in the northeast region. So it's important that the people in the region conserve, adopt a, conserve, a water conserving culture so that they can better utilize the water and decrease the amount of low quantity and low quality of water. The purpose of our project is to create a sustainable water conservation attitude within Brazilian youth so the next generation can use water more responsibly. We plan to do this by raising awareness of the current water situation within Brazil and then educating youth on how to use water more responsibly within their daily lives. There are many indirect and direct benefits of implementing water culture in northeastern Brazil. First, northeastern Brazil will massively be affected because they will see that water is not limitless and they need to conserve it better. The youth will, the youth will see this and see how they can conserve it better in the future as they become adults and children. The educators will see how the youth are conserving water and implement this in programs and classes in schools and other education centers. And the environment will be improved because uh, waterways that were once filled with trash and waste will be cleared and uh, drinkable to people. Um, and if the indirect reasons are Brazil will see these changes and implement them across the country. Um, the global community will see this and hopefully it will start from uh, South America and stretch all the way across the world. And finally, the next generation will see that water isn't is limited and that they need to take better care of it to ensure that every, everyone has drinkable water. To achieve our goals and the purpose of our campaign, we need to take action now. We would begin by establishing and promoting a social media campaign, hashtag Salvia Agua, or Save Water in English. This will engage the youth and get them to, to spread the ideas of conserving water. We would then speak to educators and teachers around the area to see if they can implement the water conservation lessons within their already established curriculum. This would help to educate the even younger generation about the benefits and the necessity of conserving water. We would speak and encourage legislators and politicians to implement water conservation policies so that it can be known to the public that this is an actual problem that needs to be addressed. We would begin to encourage our, to establish our promotion and encourage it. We would provide incentives to a variety of people who, who help within the program, including virtual incentives, which is what we'll start on with. But hopefully with the increase of our program in size and inside the amount of funds we can achieve, we would be able to provide physical incentives that will, like posters and books and videos and other incentives that will help people to encourage water conservation and recognize it as a major idea. We would end our, pro our project by collecting and presenting pre and post data to show if there's been an increase in water availability and inside the techniques used for water conservation within the area.